हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास इन चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस कन्वर्शंस सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस कंपैरिजन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस एडिशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस इन सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन टाइप वन दैट इज सप्रेक्शन ऑफ लाइक फ्रैक्शंस ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सप्रेक्शन ऑफ अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद स्पेसिफिक केसेस ऑफ सप्रेक्शन ऑफ अनलाइक फ्रैक्शंस हेयर केस वन इज हेयर वी हैव टू सप्रैक्ट अ फ्रैक्शन फ्रॉम अ होल नंबर नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय होल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम जीरो वन टू थ्री सो वन नाउ आई इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस ऑल द होल नंबर्स एज अ फ्रैक्शन सो हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल इफ आई विल राइट वन इन द डिनोमिनेटर द नंबर विल रिमेन सेम द फोर इफ आई विल राइट वन इन द डिनोमिनेटर आई कैन एक्सप्रेस होल नंबर एज अ फ्रैक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल If here I will consider three, I will write three upon one. Here three is numerator, one is denominator. Therefore, three is a whole number. But if I will write it as three upon one, it will be expressed as a fraction. We can express all the whole numbers as a fraction. Now let's understand with example. Here we have to subtract two upon three from five. Now, from means second number minus first number. Here I will write five minus two upon three. Here five is whole number, and two upon three is a fraction. Now, step one: change whole number into fraction. So how we can change it? If I will write one in denominator. So at the place of five, it will come. Five upon one. Now here it will come five upon one minus two upon three. Next step: check the denominators. Here denominators are one and three, as denominators are not same. Therefore, these are unlike fractions. Next step: LCM of denominators. Here denominators are one and three. Now, when we will use Antina method to find out LCM of one and three, it will come directly three. Why? Because one is not a prime number. So, if we will take LCM of any number with one, it will come same number. Now, next step: change these fractions into like fractions. For that. we have to take common denominator here common denominator equals to lcm and here lcm is 3 therefore in denominator i will write 3 now multiply numerators with a suitable number so that the denominators become equivalent to 3 here i will write 5 into box minus 2 into box upon 3 now check the first fraction Here denominator is one, so in table of one three will come at three. In first box I will put three. Check the second fraction. Here denominator is three. In table of three three will come at one, so in second box I will put one. Now first multiply then subtract. Five three is a fifteen. So here first will come fifteen, and two ones are two. So here I will write fifteen minus two upon three. Fifteen minus two equals to thirteen. So here it is coming thirteen upon three. Now as you can see, numerator is greater than denominator. so it is an improper fraction now divide and change it into mixed fraction so here 
we will divide 13 by 3. It will go on 4. Here it will come 12 minus 1. Now start from the quotient. It will come 4 whole number 1 upon 3 which is a mixed fraction. Now let's take one more example. Let's take example 2. Here you have to find difference between 10 and 2 upon 5. 10 is a whole number and 2 upon 5 is a fraction. So first of all you will change whole number into fraction. For that I will write 10 upon 1 minus 2 upon 5. Here step 1 check the denominators. Denominators are 5 and 1. These are not same therefore these fractions are unlike fractions. Next step is to find out the LCM of 1 and 5. So here LCM will come 5. Just now I have told you that LCM of any number with 1 will come same. Now next step change the fractions into like fractions. So here denominator will come common. So take LCM as denominator and multiply numerators with a suitable number so that its, numer its denominators become equivalent to 5. Now here I will write 10 into box minus 2 into box upon 5. In table of 1, 5 will come at 5. In table of 5, 5 will come at 1. So first multiply, then subtract. Here it will come 10 fives are 50, 2 ones are 2. So we will write 50 minus 2 upon 5. After subtracting, we will get 48 upon 5, which is an improper fraction. Now divide and change it into mixed fraction. Divide 48 by 5. 5 nines are 45. Minus you will get 3. So start from the quotient which is a whole number. Here it will come 9 whole number 3 upon 5 which is a mixed fraction. Now let's discuss case 2. In case 2 you have to subtract a fraction from a mixed number. Here we will see how to subtract a fraction from a mixed number. As we know mixed numbers are 2 whole number 1 upon 3, 5 whole number 3 upon 4 or you can say mixed number is combination of whole numbers and a proper fraction. So let's discuss with examples. Here we have to subtract 2 whole number 1 upon 3 and 3 upon 2. Where 2 whole number 1 upon 3 is a mixed fraction and 3 upon 2 is a fraction. Now earlier we have done whenever mixed fraction will come we have to change it into improper fraction. So step 1 is to change mixed fraction into improper fraction. Here it will come 3 to the 6 plus 1 upon 3. 6 plus 1 is, so here we will write 7 upon 3. On the other hand, 3 upon 2 remains same because it's a fraction. Now, statement is 2 whole number 1 upon 3 minus 3 upon 2. At the place of 2 whole number 1 upon 3, I will write 7 upon 3. And second fraction will come same. So here 7 upon 3 minus 3 upon 2. 3 and 2 denominators are not same. Therefore these fractions are unlike fractions. Next step take LCM of denominators. Here denominators are 3 and 2. So we will use antenna method to find LCM of 3 and 2. First it will go on table of 2. Then on table of 3. Here LCM is 2, 3 is a 6. Now 
we have to change these fractions into like fractions. Take LCM as common denominator. Now multiply numerators with a suitable number so that denominator will become equivalent to 6. So here denominator is 3. In table of 3, 6 will come at 2. And in second fraction denominator is 2. In table of 2, 6 will come at 3. So it will come 7 2 is a 14, 3 3 is a 9. Here we will write 14 minus 9 upon 6. Now 14 minus 9 equals to 5. Therefore we will write here 5 upon 6 which is a proper fraction. Now let's take one more example. Here we have to subtract 3 upon 2 from 2 whole number 1 upon 4. Here from means second number minus first number. Second number is 2 whole number 1 upon 4. So it will come 2 whole number 1 upon 4 minus 3 upon 2. 2 whole number 1 upon 4 is a mixed number and 3 upon 2 is a fraction. So first step is change mixed number into improper fraction. Here it will come 2 into 4 plus 1 upon 4. 2 4 is a 8. So here we will write 8 plus 1 upon 4. Now it will be equals to 9 upon 4. Now statement is 2 whole number 1 upon 4 minus 3 upon 2. At the place of 2 whole number 1 upon 4, I will write 9 upon 4. Here denominators are 4 and 2. As you can see denominators are not same. So these are unlike fractions. Next step. Take LCM of denominators. Here denominators are 4 and 2. So LCM of denominators 4 and 2 will come. First it will go on table of 2. Again on table of 2. Here LCM is 2 into 2 that is 4. Now change the fractions into like fractions. Here it will come. 9 into box minus 3 into box upon common denominator. Here common denominator is 4 because LCM is equals to 4. Now first fraction denominator is 4. In table of 4, 4 will come at 1. So I will put 1 in first box. Second fraction denominator is 2. In table of 2, 4 will come at 2. So in second box I will put 2. First multiply then subtract. Here 9 ones are 9. 3 twos are 6. It will come 9 minus 6 upon 4. Now 9 minus 6 equals to 3. Therefore we will write 3 upon 4. Which is a proper fraction. Now students. Today we have understood how to subtract fraction from a whole number and how to subtract fraction from a mixed number. Now I hope you are able to do the worksheet given in your SNAP homework. But before that must go through the YouTube links that are already mentioned in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.